Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. Certainly going to be a different kind of storm, but it is going to be windy along the coast and it's going to be super windy around here as well. So I want to kind of nail down some storm details for you here. I know there's a lot of writing, but listen up if you would. Damaging wind gusts expected. We're going to see gusts to some 65 miles an hour, especially along the western facing slopes of the Green Mountains. It's the usual places, but this is going to be really, really moving wind out there. Flash flood potential is there right on through tomorrow in New York and also into southern Vermont. We'll show you why that is in just a second. And then a secondary uh, kind of go around with a wind threat by tomorrow afternoon, but not so much on the western slopes. On the eastern slopes, where we could be looking at wind gusts upwards of 50 miles an hour. So we've got some alerts, no big surprise. High wind warning in effect. We're talking about the higher elevations mainly. And again, the western facing slopes we're keying in on. But really, for the highlighted areas, it's the Green Mountains, southern Vermont, also into the Northeast Kingdom. Even where we're not highlighting areas, it is going to be windy out there. And we're also expecting a bunch of rain, so we've got a flash flood watch in effect for northern New York, also southern Vermont, and really all of New Hampshire. Here's Storm Tracker. Look at the rain out there. We have got a bunch of it coming down in northern New York. This stuff is going from the south to the north, the leading edge just making it to the Canadian border. And the thing is, this stuff not only is going to be relatively, if not really heavy at times, it's going to be hanging in there for a while because we widen out. Look how much is out there and look at the movement from the south to the north. I think a lot of us end up with over an inch, but I think the wind is going to be the main problem for the overnight tonight into tomorrow. So future cast wind gusts. This is our forecast model saying, OK, here's what we're expecting. 1130 tonight, the wind is certainly picking up gusts in the 40s for some of us. But watch what happens overnight. 230 in the morning, the model suggesting in Addison County wind gusts to count them 70 miles an hour. Others well into the 50s and also into the 60s. This is the overnight tonight. Looks like kind of the bullseye for this storm is going to be east of the Champlain Valley. New York going to have a problem tomorrow, I think. But even into the morning tomorrow in Vermont, we've got some real issues in terms of the wind. Wind gusts upwards of 60 miles an hour, if not more. Eastern side of the state, especially into the Northeast Kingdom. Then we'll take you through the rest of the day. It's going to be windy all day, but not as windy by lunchtime. We've got 50 mile an hour winds though expected in the Adirondacks because again we've got down sloping on the eastern side and then this stuff is thinking about winding down by later in the day. Certainly not as windy as earlier and things are looking a lot better by the day after that, which of course is going to be Halloween. Here's what we're looking at for temperatures right now. We're in the 50s in most spots. We've got a 49 in Messina. I think temperatures will rise some overnight tonight. We see an early high tomorrow about 63 degrees. There will be rain around. It's going to be very windy windy throughout the day, not quite as windy later and not quite as wet. Maybe a glimmer of sunshine, but that's the least of our issues, I think, at this point. So future cast, 8 o'clock tonight, most of the heavy rain in northern New York at that hour. Look at how things change. By 2 o'clock in the morning, it's raining very heavily, and it's raining on both sides of Lake Champlain. We get you into tomorrow, and we've got a more scattered situation. Still some rain around into the afternoon. Wanted to show you at 1 o'clock, it's going to be cold enough, probably some snowflakes in the Adirondacks. Here we are for the afternoon commute. Things are looking a lot better by then. And then check this out for Tuesday. This is Halloween. We have lake effect rain and some snow coming off of Lake Ontario affecting parts of the Adirondacks. We'll see if that band makes it into the Champlain Valley. Here's what we're talking about for rain. It's not a ton over an inch for a lot of us, but because it comes down so quickly, we could have flash flooding around very windy out there tonight. Periods of rain, possible flash flooding. We're watching all this 53 degrees for a low and then for tomorrow, real windy first half of the day, the windiest part periods of rain and temperatures in the 60s. I think for a lot of us, though, those are early highs. Temperatures are then coming down 63 in the wind tomorrow. Halloween on Tuesday is going to be better. Mix of sun and clouds could catch a shower in there. Wednesday, probably more clouds than sun. I think it's going to be dry. Showers returning Thursday, Friday. We're in the 50s. Saturday, Sunday, not looking too bad at this point. And temperatures more seasonable. But